my tried and true Air Max 97s. These are my ride or dies. I love them. I wanted to try some new ones. So I asked my friend what their favorite shuffling shoes were and then I went out and bought them. So I went out and trialed these shoes yesterday. I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions, my thoughts. We're actually gonna be kind of organized about this and I'm gonna rate them based on how good they are for shuffling, how good they are for shaping, so cutting shapes, glides, and toe stuff. Toe stuff mostly being like toe stalls or anything where you like go on like your tippy tippy toes. And the last category is going to be style and comfort as one category. By the way, I should mention, I consider myself like a hybrid shuffler. I do like shuffling and shapes. So it's important for me to have a shoe that does both. Let's start with shoe number a one. Shoe number one are the Reebok Classic Harmons. Harmon Classics, one of the two. These were recommended to me by none other than the Sammy Steads. She raved about these shoes. I'm not gonna lie, first impressions, they were pretty good. So this is what the tread looks like. Not a lot, a lot of grippy stuff, but a little bit. They also, on the inside, you can see they say Memory Tech Comfort Footbed. So it's kind of got like a memory foam cushion in here. And when I put these on, they were so comfy. I was kind of taken aback. Normally when you get new shoes, you kind of have to wear them in a little bit. But these, I put them on and they were like clouds. They fit so well. And so when I started shuffling in these, I was impressed. I felt like it was love at first running, man. These were so nice to shuffle in. And then when I watched it back on camera, I also think it looked good too. So overall for shuffling, I give these bad boys a nine. Now moving on to shaping. These shoes, they had a good amount of bats. I can liken it to my Air Max 97s. These are, have so much support that they are really bouncy and they kind of make shuffling and shaping easier because of that. Whereas shoes that don't have a lot of bounce or give, they're a little bit, I don't want to say harder. They just require you to put in more of the energy because they don't assist you in shuffling. These ones had a nice bit of bounce, but not quite as much as my Air Max 97s. So when I was shaping in them, I thought they felt good, but then when I watched the footage back, I didn't like it quite as much. Like it didn't look as good as it felt. So I gave it a 7.5. Now, glides. So I tested out the circle glide and the moonwalk with these shoes. And overall, these were really pretty easy to glide in. Were they the easiest? No. Whenever your shoes are brand new, they're gonna have a little bit more tread, a little bit more grip. If you look at my Air Max 97s, I can literally see like parts of where the tread used to be. And then the rest of these, see how they're completely like bare? That's because I've worn down a lot of the tread. Now what kind of goes in hand with this, again, is the toe step. So I wasn't able to get fully on my tippy toes, but I was able to get pretty close. I do feel like the toe is pretty sturdy in these shoes, a lot better than others. Glide, I gave an 8.5, and then toe stuff, I gave it a five. Lastly, style and comfort. Like I said, these bad boys required no breaking in. They were so comfy. I think they look so cute. So I gave style a nine. Overall, I think these shoes did pretty freaking well. I'm definitely really happy with purchasing these. Not to mention the price point for these is a lot less than the Nike Mike, Nike Mikey, <laughs> Nike Air Max 97s. So that's always good. We like not spending all of our money on shoes, especially when we're going through them pretty quickly. <laughs> Another Reebok. We've got the Reebok Freestyle Highs. High because they are high top. 
Love a high top shoe. High top shoes are the shuffling shoes that I first learned how to shuffle in. I also recommend high top shoes for people who complain about having ankle pain. Another thing I like about high tops is they're really adjustable. You can like really make them tight to your feet. And to me, the tighter a shoe is to your foot, the more it just kind of feels like an extension of your foot. These shoes were recommended to me by hybrid shuffler Amy Conte. Very flat, which usually tells me they're gonna be good for shuffling. The less tread on a shoe, usually they're gonna slide easier. So category number one, shuffling. When I was actually shuffling in them, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't love it. I felt like I had to put in so much energy. Again, I think I'm really used to my Nike Air Maxes. It's almost like a little crutch. However, when I was watching the shuffling clips back, I actually liked the way it looked. And what I think is the whole key thing here is I've been thinking my shuffling has been looking bouncy and maybe it has, but maybe it's the shoes. Maybe my shuffling doesn't feel as bouncy or as easy in a shoe like this, but it looks good because it is not as bouncy. So when I originally scored them, I gave them a 6.5. But watching the video back, I'm gonna give it a 7. Now, how were these for shaping? Overall, these shoes for shaping were pretty nice. Like I said, they're not the bounciest, but they do have a decent amount of bounce for being a flat shoe. So I gave them an 8. Then, Glide. Didn't love doing either the Circle Glide or the Moonwalk in these shoes. However, they were okay for simple glide. So things like the tuck glide and the snake glide. By the way, if you hear a name of a move and you're like, I've never heard that, that's because it's from my shuffle vault, which you should totally sign up because it's got 70 plus shuffling, shaping, footwork, tutorials, and more coming all the time. I update it regularly. Basically, it's a great way to learn how to shuffle and if nothing else, you have some names of what to call these moves that you had no idea what to call. Anyway, so back to glides. What I gave it was a 6.5. Good, not great. Has the potential to be better, maybe if they're worn in a little bit, but then again, pretty flat already. I don't really think that that's the case, so. Toe stuff, sounds dirty. I gave it a four because I wasn't able to get fully on my tippy toes. They do bend quite a little bit. Now, style and comfort, they're a little bit narrow. I have wide feet. I actually think, I think someone told me to size up. Yeah, I did. I got a seven and a half. I'm normally a seven and they were still felt kind of narrow. So I feel like shuffling in them for a while would hurt my toes because I've had other shoes like that in the past. The other Reeboks I bought, the Harmons, I bought in a 7. Overall, a pretty well-rounded shoe. Maybe it could be better on glides and toe stuff, but like, it all just kind of depends on like how important doing toe stalls is to you. Like if that's your thing, these probably aren't the shoe for you. I also think that these would be a good beginner shoe. I like to recommend high top flat shoes, basically this style of shoe for beginners. Like I said, I learned in my Fila F13s and these are very similar. Adidas. These are the Adidas Gazelles. This is again another flat shoe, very similar tread to the Reebok Highs. It's flat. I'm not gonna lie, when I pulled these out of the box, I was like, these look a little big. Sure enough, they were a little big. These are A7. I don't know, they're just, they're sized big. I feel like though, these have a lot of potential if they were a right size, but Going forward into the review, bear in mind that I was wearing these and they are much too big. Like you can see, there is so much room in the toe. But I gave them a shot anyways. They were actually pretty nice to shuffle in. They actually glided on the floor pretty easily. It was easy to shuffle, easy to tease step. However, when it came to shaping, ooh, not so great. Again, this could be due to the fact that they were too big, but I don't think so. I just don't think that these are the best shoes for shaping. For shuffling, I gave these an eight because I think they could be good. And for shaping, I gave them a four. I gave them a little bit more of a boost. I do feel like the fact that they're big is hindering them. And then for glides, I gave these a seven. They were decent to glide around in, all things considered. And for toe stuff, yeah, I can't even give that a score because 
I had so much room in the toe, like of course they were gonna bend. So I give that one a question mark. And then for style and comfort, I gave these a three, but not just because they were too big, but because they have this thing in the arch, like they have a really stiff arch, like there's something that goes like this in the shoe and I did not like that. Maybe it wears down or breaks in the more you wear it, but not a fan of that. Again, they could be cuter if maybe they're a smaller size, but all I can see is clown shoes, so. These shoes were recommended to me by my friend Jorge, and he loves these shoes. I know he loves other Adidas as well, which totally makes sense for his style. I just don't think that these shoes make sense for my style. I am gonna try them in another size though. I'm gonna give them a fair shot. to me by my friend Emily, formerly known as WeWo on Instagram. She is a great shuffler. She said she loves these because it's like wearing a sock. And that kind of goes back to my point about like feeling kind of connected to your feet. So I was really excited to try these. A lot of shufflers I've been seeing also have been buying the platform Converse and have said good things, but these are not. These are just the regular Converse. I tested them out shuffling and I really, really liked it. Again, I think because they're really flat, they don't have a lot of tread, it's really easy for them to glide on the floor. It just looks real good. So for shuffling, I gave it an 8.5. Now for shaping, however, they were good, but not great. Like I could shape in them, but I think also because the shoe is like mostly cloth, right? I felt it was almost kind of dangerous to shape in them. Like shaping is really like quick movements and it's a lot of turning of your feet. I feel like it could be really easy to hurt yourself in these shoes. So for that reason, I give them a six. Glides, they were pretty decent. Like I said, they're flat, it's nice, but these actually have a bit more traction to them. So you can kind of see the bottom of the shoe there. I don't know if it's a lot more, but could just need a little bit more wearing in on the shoe. Cause another thing I noticed is it was kind of uncomfortable around the ankle for me. And then for toe stuff, I gave this one a five. Couldn't really go on my toes without them bending. They were okay. I kind of thought they were gonna be more like Vans. Not quite the same support. Maybe it's because they're a bit more narrow at the top. Overall, good for shuffling, okay for shaping. And then glides, decent, toe stuff, meh. Style and comfort for the Converse, I gave a 7.5, just because like I said, the ankle was a little bit uncomfy. Okay. And last but not least, the shuffling shoe of all shuffling shoes. It is loved by shufflers, it is loved by shapers, and I have never shuffled in them before. Vans. I went with a black shoe trying something new, something different, because every now and then you need a black shoe to go with your outfit. Like white doesn't go with everything. What I like about the Vans is they're a little bit stiffer in this part, whereas the Converse were just like cloth. So these give you a little bit more support around the ankle, but again, they're still very flat on the bottom, minimal tread. They actually have a very thick, I think you call this the sole, and the toe is very sturdy. Like, I couldn't bend that if I tried, which means, you guess it, they're good for toe stuff. But I'm jumping ahead categories. First, let's get to shuffling. Overall, these are really nice to shuffle in, pretty easy to do the running man, the T-step. They don't have a lot of bounce or a lot of help to them, but they're not difficult to shuffle in. Plus, I find the fact that they were a bit more comfortable and a bit more supportive around the ankle made it a bit more enjoyable to shuffle in them. It also made them more enjoyable to shape in. These are actually really quite nice to shape in. I think they look good when you're shaping in them. I don't know if it's just Elena Cruz has got me 
associating bands with shaping, but I don't know, it just looks good when you're shaping in bands. So overall, I would say these were the most well-rounded shoe. They were good for shuffling and they were good for shaping. I gave shuffling an eight and I also gave shaping an eight. They don't excel in either category, I would say, but they do really well in both. And then glides, I'd say also an eight. The moonwalk wasn't the best, but I mean, that could just be the simple fact that I suck at the moonwalk. Also, because they have a really thick toe support, they're good for toe stuff. I actually gave this a 10. That's how good it is. Like you can go on your tippy tippy toes. And in addition to that, when you're doing glides, you can also get fully on your tippy toes while doing glides, which just gives it a really clean effect, a really clean look. Looks so good. Ugh, wish I could do it better. We'll get there one day. And lastly, style and comfort. I think they look good. They're good for more than just shuffling. They're really cute, they're stylish. But they are next to impossible to get on. So difficult, I had to unlace them like three holes to get them on. I don't know how people do this. Maybe I, there's just like a secret I haven't figured out, but it was not easy. They are pretty comfy. They could just need a little bit of wearing in, but because they were so hard to get on, I was gonna give them an eight, but I gave them a 7.5. But overall, a freaking great shoe for shuffling. You honestly couldn't go wrong. Those are all the shoes I bought. The ones I'm most excited to continue wearing are the Reebok Harmons. And I think that's cause they're the most akin to my Nike Air Max 97s. However, I am excited to push myself outside of my comfort zone and shuffle in shoes like these two. And then I'm excited to get a new pair of these in a different size. Hopefully that gave you guys some good insight, maybe some new ideas for shuffling shoes to try, or even just what to look for in shuffling shoes, depending on your style, your preference, and all that good stuff. Let me know if there's any other shoes you want me to try. Just comment down below. Anyways, I love you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.